Welcome to this Tux Explorer tutorial. This is a tiny potato, and I'm going to be showing you how to actually enable developer mode. So you've turned on dev mode on the Steam Deck and accessed the desktop. Now what? Sure, you can install some Flatpak apps and surf the web, but what if you really want to turn the Steam Deck into a dev machine? The Steam Deck ships with SteamOS 3 Hollow, which acts like an immutable distro out of the box. This is just a fancy way to say that you don't have write access to most of the system files and directories. Valve didn't leave us in the cold, though. They added a handy script to ensure that you can make the Steam Deck whatever you want it to be. SteamOS dash dev mode. SteamOS dash dev mode disables read only mode, populates the Pac-Man keyring, and restores missing files stripped from the shipping image of SteamOS. Valve is careful to warn you that you probably don't want to run the script, but they also have built-in safeties. To turn on dev mode in the desktop, first we're going to run the following script in the terminal. sudo steamos-dev mode enable. When you run this script, you'll be asked nicely and given guidance by Valve on whether or not you really want to run this script. From Valve. Note, you probably don't want to run this script there's most likely a better way to do what you want to do. Have you considered packaging your app with Flatpak? This is a much better and safer experience for users. Have you considered building your package in the SteamOS Docker image with Toolbox? This works on desktop too. The key here is deciding what you want to do. If you're just interested in surfing the web, maybe you don't need developer mode enabled. If you're interested in stretching the Steam Deck to its limits and exploring Linux, maybe take it for a spin. If you decide to take the dev mode leap, the process shall begin. Read-only mode will be disabled, and your terminal will be filled with a flood of Pac-Man package updates. And now, the real fun begins. Of course, if you happen to make a mistake and bork things a little bit, you can always re-enable read-only mode after using the script by running the following in the terminal. steamos-read-only, enable. You can also run the following to restore packages if you mess something up. steamos-dev mode, enable. The great thing about Linux is you can really do anything you want, and you can't mess it up too bad. Sure, you might need to reinstall from an image of SteamOS Hollow, or maybe just take a long break from your Steam Deck and not look at it for a while. But the Steam Deck is really an excellent way to explore the Linux environment and just stretch this machine to its limits. Thanks for watching this Tux Explorer tutorial, and we hope that you enjoy playing with developer mode on the desktop. Subscribe for more Steam Deck content, and give this video a like if you found it helpful.